Hello, trading has closed on April 14th, 2022. Happy holidays to everybody. Let's do our disclaimer first. Review our calls. Make some predictions. It's my trading plan for Monday, April the 18th. Remember, I can be wrong. Any trade you make should be at your own risk. Look for the pattern with the early low, which is here. Monday's pattern should also have the early low. And with a little bit of leeway, change in trend time should be pretty similar to what we've seen today. We had a target. We said ultimately we'd see 43.9701. We said there was no time limit, but normally it didn't have to wait too long. That's this line here and that printed. I actually missed a target, uh, which is too bad. I missed the 4407.67 target, which is this red line here. It sure would have been helpful had I seen it, but I just missed it. So I can't take any credit for it, but it did print. First time it gets challenged, that's support. Next time it gets challenged, support fails if we get a drop like this one. During the day, MJT said this rally was a false move. Prices would retrace, and that's what happened. We said if yesterday's high held, that there was a wave count, an alternate count, suggesting we'd be in the wave three down. Well, the high didn't hold. And this isn't an impulse, this is this is overlapping. So that count has to be discarded. We're going to have to return to the original count as opposed to the alternate count. What happened here is you have this rejection of the high, a big drop right to the support level, even though I didn't identify it at first, it's still there. We then recovered over all these prior lows. That's the rejection of the drop. It's a bullish formation. And then, without a huge amount of time to trade, and right when liquidity dries up and the volume dries up in front of a long weekend, you get a wall of selling, pretty much a wall, except for this, into the close, which is obviously retail customers selling. But just as yesterday, a big rally couldn't close over prior highs, this big drop couldn't close under this low. Now that might change Monday. This drop might not be over. But if that holds, that's a bullish pattern too. Normally, when you get a big drop like this on a Friday, when the market resumes, Almost always, you're going to follow through. That's what you expect. If we don't follow through, that's an if. If we don't follow through and we gap up smartly instead, and particularly if we gap up and promptly overtake this high, that's a very bullish pattern. It hasn't happened yet. Might not happen at all. But on Monday, we're going to watch to see if that happens, because if it does, we could be off to the races on the upside. This is our long-term count. We've sh we have shown this a few times. We had this green wave A way back in 2009. I was hoping to see green C equal to green A. We stopped right at the 78.6, not my favorite Fib number, but it is one. So if that holds, we have to respect it might not hold, but at this low, sentiment readings were at levels typically seen at major market lows, and they've held so far. Let's focus in on this area. Here's an A, here's a B. Somewhere there should be a wave C. Now we showed before that wave A 
is equal to wave C right at this low. I was looking for lower prices, but as long as that low holds, that's a valid pattern. What makes it more interesting is this low is right at a 50% retrace of this last rally and It's right at a 61.8% retrace of this whole drop. So you have intense Fibonacci support right at this level. And it's coming right at Christopher Carolyn's spiral calendar date. Don't forget, April 18th is Monday. If we gap up Monday, he hits this date right on the head. But even now, since there's a three-day window, three to six-day window, we are within his time frame for a low. Now, if we crash Monday and then go up, it's still within his time frame. But the point is, we're in the time frame for a low by his, by his methodology. Now this was the old count, and it just doesn't work. That's not a wave three. So we have to go back to the original count. We've gotten rid of the alternate count. Here's the original count. We call this one or A. Call this two or, or B. We now have And A, B, C, with C having an A equal to C, good fibs. And if you look at black wave A and measure from black wave B, it's exactly equal. You can't get better than that. Now, that's because this count works. Doesn't mean other counts won't. But it certainly is a strong candidate for the end of this drop with an ABC, and if that's true, we're going to go straight up. We won't know if it's true until Monday. Monday's market has the early low. These are what I'm looking for for the patterns for next week. We could still gap up. Today's day-long drop could not undercut this week's prior low. That may change Monday, but if it holds, the pattern's bullish, and higher prices should result. A number of factors are compatible with a major low being made right here. Nothing is certain until we see what happens Monday, but as far as time is concerned, the period after income tax filing today in the USA historically has been one of the market's most bullish periods and we're within the window of a spiral calendar date for a major bottom. Sentiment at the low of the year was at levels typically seen at major market bottoms, and once again we're quite close to those sentiment levels, and that's held. Breath has improved markedly, so fewer and fewer stocks are pushing the indices down. In fact, some of the market leaders I look at actually broke out to the upside today. That's not what I would expect to see if we're going to collapse. The NASDAQ, McC NASDAQ McClellan Oscillator has given a bull and band reversal buy signal. The wave count shows perfect balance, justifying a rally from right here. The wall into the close typically gets follow through and trading resumes, but if we gap up smartly instead, it's quite bullish. Should a rally occur from here, it's likely to break to new all-time highs, pretty much in a straight line move. And other candidates for a low other candidates for a low might work too, but if we rally strongly Monday, the odds are good the current consolidation is over and the bull is back. So we'll have to see if that happens. I mean, we keep on dropping, doesn't mean a thing. We gap up, go over this, that's going to be enough for me to say we've completed this consolidation in all likelihood, and that in all likelihood we're going to be racing off to new highs. Certainly, well, certainly, 
isn't what I was expecting. It isn't what I was anticipating earlier in the year, but that's why I take things a day at a time. So I'm going to anxiously wait to see what happens on Monday, because if that happens, I think it's a great opportunity to go long. And that's today's call.